Oh, good morning, Ellie. <laughs> Hello. It's 8.09, um, just waking up here. I forgot to charge last night, so I'm sitting at 80%, but that's fine. It will get topped up for a bit when I do get into the car, um, but I wanted to take you guys along with me. These are my multivitamins. I try to take them every day. I actually don't know what's in them. My wife bought them for me. I just do what she says. <laughs> But today is a busy day. There's a few things that I gotta do. There's a few things on my to-do list that I wanna take you along with me for. So I am using the S24 Ultra. This is the phone that's gonna come along with me for the day. And uh, this is the phone that I've been carrying since it's released. And I'm absolutely in love with this thing. I did wake up for like a second earlier because uh, I had to let my dog out and stuff like that, but I did end up going back to sleep for a little bit, so I do kind of feel out of it. I should have just stayed up, but I didn't have too much sleep last night, so this is my dog, Ellie. <laughs> she's so cute. Uh, she's a Jack Russell uh, cockapoo, and she she's so adorable, but she's on her uh, period right now. She just went into heat, so hopefully that's done in like the next day or so. It probably will be done today. And then she also split her foot open, so we've been having to bandage that and take care of her. <laughs> so I'm gonna take Ellie in a few, uh, probably about 9.30, 10 o'clock to go for a walk and stuff like that. And then that's when I'll officially start my day. But I want to show you guys, I do have a couple of things that I need to do. And then there's a few things here that I got to start listing on Marketplace. Um, so I have like HomePod, I have a lens from Sigma, a Viltrox lens, and then an A6700. Um, a few things, try to make some money back. Um, it's just been sitting there for a while, so I do need to do something about it. And then the videos that I want to work on um, are going to be about the Pixel 8 Pro and the S24. And then I'm also doing a video about this guy, which is the Quest 3. I definitely have like a lot in the works right now, um, more so than I usually do. I really only keep like one or two phones at a time to make videos about, but I want to kind of go a little bit more full force. I have some ideas for these two. But yes, I do do want to look into uh, to those. And so I got to pack my bag and get a few things ready for that. But I am going to shower and uh, see what there is if I want to make a coffee here, if I'm going to go and grab a coffee. I'm not entirely sure yet. I've been using this alongside the S24 Ultra. It's the Pixel Watch 2. I actually forgot that I had this watch. So this watch came out a little while ago, <laughs> quite a while ago, and I had planned on making a video about it because I really liked the original Pixel Watch. And then a couple of days into owning this, my dog ate the cable for it. Um, and I just never ended up getting around to buying one. And then the other week, you know, I was looking at the Galaxy watches I was like, holy shit, like I have a Pixel Watch too. I could just get the cable for it. And it's been working flawlessly, especially with the S24 Ultra. Like it, it's a really good companion to it. I really like using this watch. I just showered. I'm wearing the same hoodie. I didn't sleep with it last night. That whole thing in the morning, me waking up, that wasn't real. This is content, okay? I had to pretend that I was waking up because that's how you start your day in the life. And of course, this video is about the S24 Ultra. I might have said S23 Ultra in the beginning, I'm not sure. I get it confused a lot. Not because they're like too similar or anything, it's just I'm so used to saying S23 Ultra, S23 Ultra. But yes, this phone is fantastic. I absolutely love this thing. And like I said, I've been using it every day. Um, it's had my main SIM in it this whole time. There's a few things that I like about this device that I wanna share with you throughout like the course of today. Um, and I definitely do wanna take some photos and videos using this phone so that you can actually see what the quality of this is like in a real world application. But one thing that I'm gonna do on my phone very quickly is just start adding some stuff into my to-do list that I need to get done. And then I'll put them on my laptop when I'm sitting down at the coffee shop just so that I can have everything in two places. But I need to call Rogers. Uh, I need to check my emails because there's some that I forgot to respond to that are pretty important. I need to post my marketplace listings. I need to walk my dog. I need to also write or plan a script. And I think, I think we're off to a good start. So that's what I have so far. These are things that I need to do. Um, Rogers is my phone provider. Well, it was my phone provider. I switched to a different company and I forgot to cancel the line. So this whole time for the last three, four months, I've been paying an extra hundred bucks and I've had no idea. That sounds really stupid. I'm not like 
rich or anything. It definitely makes like an impact. <laughs> um, but I, I haven't noticed because our internet is also through this company. And I just thought like our internet bill for some reason was getting a little bit more expensive. And turns out this whole time that it's because I've had a phone with them so or a number with them. Usually what I do in the morning while I'm still in bed is go through social media, um, see if there's anything new that I've missed or see what my friends and people are saying. It's a habit that I need to get out of like right when I wake up in the morning because it's not good to just go on your phone and doom scroll. It also kind of sucks and it's hard to balance a little bit because this is my job. And when I'm on here, technically I am working. Like there's things that I'm looking for. Um, it's kind of cool. I like the new Oppo phones, man. They look really nice. But yeah, I mean like it's, again, it's kind of hard to, to balance, but this is just how it is. <laughs> I haven't really like done much today. I opened my phone at about 80%. I'm at 78%, so that's the check-in. After about the first hour, it's almost nine in the morning. Can you focus on that? 78%. So we'll just see how all this goes. I, again, it's not fair because I didn't charge it to 100%, but I will get that extra top up while I'm in the car for about 10 minutes. I will say the absolute worst part about living in Canada and having a dog is that you have to walk your dog in the cold. She's definitely been getting like better with walks, but she's still a puppy. So it's something that we still have to kind of like train her to do well. Um, so it could be kind of annoying to walk her sometimes, but overall she's not that bad. She used to be like a really energetic, crazy dog. And now she's slowing down a little bit, which is good. Okay, so Ellie's all situated after her walk. She's a little crazy. She was just digging around the couch and destroying it. I'm going to start my car right now and make sure that it's preheated before I even get into it using my phone. Um, Hyundai has this really cool app called Blue Link. So I can open it up, unlock my phone, and then from here, I can just hit engine start. I call the preset toaster. I've turned on the heated seats, the heated steering, and both defrosters, and I've set the temperature to high. So I'm gonna do that, and now the car is started. There she is. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to be heading to a coffee shop um, and then I'll take it from there, I guess. Um, there is still a lot to do today. One thing that I absolutely love about this car though is how the Android Auto works and looks. So I just plug my S24 Ultra in. Trying not to dox myself here because that's the map, but yeah, it's a pretty big screen. You get a lot of stuff, music, everything, obviously. And you can use way more apps on Android Auto that I find than you can on the iPhone. This is the problem with cars that have like smart features, man. Because the cameras are dirty, because it's freezing out and it's just a, you know filthy with snow, I get all these warnings that I can't use any driver assistant stuff. Not that I need them because I can drive a car, but it's still definitely a little annoying that it pops up and alerts you and shakes the wheel and everything. Is it that one? Who knows? Ugh. Cool. Hello, good morning. Um, I guess Americano or just iced coffee? Is that everything? Yeah. Add that up. Thank you. It's usually like super quiet in there and that's why I like to go. Um, but today I guess there's just a lot going on and I couldn't really focus too much. Um, I have like horrible ADHD and I just get like instantly tuned out of whatever I'm doing. I also forgot to ask for like cream. So I'm just basically drinking black coffee, which I don't mind, but I would rather not. <laughs> 
So I posted on Twitter saying that I was making a day in the life. So I want to see if anyone says hi. We got Sid. Hello, Sid. He says, hello, YouTube. We got Trenton with a saxophone. Chad says, hello. Tech Unravel says, hi. Lewis says, hey. Hello. Hi to be in it. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. I don't know. To be honest, I got some pretty mid-ass coffee. <laughs> I'll probably just go home and put some like cream in it or something. I, I was debating on just going to go pick up another one, but that's not a smart thing to do. It's only been, I don't know, I was in there for 20, 30 minutes. I'm at 76%. When I walked in there, I had 82%. I'm at 76%. I was using hotspot the whole time because I didn't know their Wi-Fi password and I didn't want to ask. So I'm not going to connect to CarPlay because I don't want to fudge the numbers anymore, but 76%. Okay, I decided to run to Tim Hortons because uh, I couldn't help myself. I also want a breakfast sandwich. So I'm using the ultra wide now um, with the rear camera. So hopefully it looks a little bit better than the front facing camera. I haven't been in a routine for a really long time. My wife has been home from work for about a month and a half now. She just started a new job today. So it's really exciting for her, but we've had so much going on. Like we've been in Florida, we've been doing like the floors, the, the living room floors, the bedroom floors. Like we've been so busy. And then also just like hanging out with friends a bunch since she always used to be so busy with work that I really hadn't been able to spend time with her. We haven't really been able to do things. So I've been kind of like taking advantage of that, but my sleep schedule has definitely taken a toll because it's 10.06 right now. I'm not lying and this sounds really bad. A lot of days I wouldn't get out of bed until like 11. So I don't really eat breakfast. I, I haven't really been like a breakfast person. I don't really eat breakfast often if I'm being honest, but I want to start changing that a bit. I need to get into like a better rhythm and routine. I pulled up to my mom's house because my cousin lives here. I'm going to see if he's awake, if there's anything that he wants to do because I have nothing planned. If I go back home right now to the dog, I'm probably going to want to go out later anyway. So I might as well just get what I want to do done. I picked up some breakfast. I'm going to eat my breakfast sandwich. Got me an ice cap. Um, terrible for you. Lots of sugar and paper straws, which suck ass. But that's just the way it is. <laughs> Dude, get off me. Hey, hey, that's, <laughs> Jesus. I'm not gonna lie, lunch was ass or breakfast, I guess. And also my cousin's sick, so he didn't wanna do anything. So that kind of sucks. So I guess I'm gonna go back home to my dog to Eleanor, see what she's up to, make sure she's eight and stuff, and uh, check off a couple of things on my phone that are on my to-do list, and then I'll figure out what needs to be done next. There's a couple of things that I'm not looking forward to and I've been putting off. Like, I have to list a few things on Facebook Marketplace for sale, um, and I've been meaning to do it for a while because there's about like three to $4,000 worth of stuff that's just been sitting there that I've been meaning to sell. And then, like I said, I have to call the uh, internet provider or my phone provider and tell them to cancel that line so I'm not paying for it anymore because that's also really annoying. So I'm gonna finish this drive home and then I'll see you when I get there. I did walk Ellie, so I have a couple things left on my to-do list. My battery is at 71%. I was on my phone for a little bit at my mom's house when I was eating my breakfast, so just watching YouTube and I recorded a couple of clips, so let's uh, let's get this day finished or started, I guess, because it's only 10.48. <laughs> hello, chica. Oh, hello. Hello. So like I was saying, I didn't really get as much as I would have liked to get done. It's progress, you know? You can't you can't start a new routine, a new system, and just jump right into it. You gotta take it easy a little bit. I haven't been using a case on this phone, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw one on. Literally all of my cases for the S24 Ultra were provided by Spigen. So I have quite a bit. By quite a bit, I mean like an entire bin. I don't have to promote these or anything. I don't have to say anything good about them. But these three right here are my favorite cases that I've used. Uh, this one right here is the Enzo and it's like an aramid fiber, um, really nice case. It has aluminum buttons. It also has this like aluminum rail around the camera so that you don't you know, drop it, break it, whatever. And then also my S24 Ultra might look a little bit different and that's cause I'm using these like, these glass um, protectors on it. I like it. I mean, it doesn't really, it doesn't affect the image quality or anything that I've seen, but I like the extra protection because I don't really trust Samsung when it comes to their care, like after purchase care. I think I'm gonna rock this one though, the Zero One. This is my favorite case that Spigen makes. It also looks really cool on the S24 Ultra. I think while Ellie's outside, I might do some uh, 
some listings. I have a few things, like I said, I gotta list. I gotta list the A6700. Um, this 16 millimeter Sigma lens, um, because I just don't use these and it's just kind of sitting there wasting money. But I'll take pictures of everything and then I'll upload it to my, my Google Photos so I can download them on my laptop and just post them on Facebook through there so I can type way easier. Um, but I'll go ahead and take the photos now. The battery on my camera died, unfortunately, so I had to swap it out. But I did get all of the photos and now I just need to go ahead and list them. This is one thing that I like about Google Photos is that I'm able to actually create a link to the images. So I just made a link and then I'm gonna send it to myself on Twitter and then I can download it on the computer and I'm good to go. So I just have two things left over and that's literally it. It's funny that like making a video about this is the only thing that like motivates me to do it and I'm glad that I get to talk about a really exciting phone alongside of it. Now I think Samsung has done a really good job this year bringing in some really cool features but one thing that I really like about this phone if I wanted to find out what an item is called I can just take a picture of it like the microphone that I'm wearing right here and then with this picture, I can hold down this navigation bar and then circle the item I wanna look up and it'll tell me right there, it's the DJI Mic 2. This has come in handy so many times, not for like important things, but if there's a car that I see on the road that I wanna know what name it is, I can take a photo of it and look it up after. If there's like something that I think is interesting that I wanna take a look at, this will just tell me what it is. And also I have to say that One UI 6.0 just looks so much better. Like it is so much more fluid. The like the control center, all of your system apps, everything looks so much more uniform and normal. This actually looks like a very clean operating system. And I said this in my video as well. I really think that this One UI is quickly becoming my favorite Android skin period. I do want to talk about those cameras for a second though because there is something about them that I'm just not too sure about. And I said this in my review, one thing that I am really happy with to be honest is the fact that there's the inclusion of a five times telephoto lens instead of a ten times. I use the five times way more. It's way better for Oh, my wife is calling. So future me here, I'm just editing this video and I realized I made a mistake. Right after I got this phone call, I continued to blabber on to something completely different and I wanted to talk to you about the cameras. So what I was saying was that the cameras on this phone are really good, but I have a few criticisms. I'm really happy with the five times telephoto because I use five times way more than I do with the 10 times telephoto on the S23 and S22 Ultra. However, what I don't like is that Samsung really advertises heavily about this phone being capable for things like moonshots and like very long zoom ranges. When that digital zoom, once you pass that 10 times range, really starts to degrade pretty rapidly. And when it comes to video and photos in lower light environments, that image just isn't as good as it could be on devices with larger sensors. I guess that was actually a good transition into what I was gonna say too. The call quality of the S24 Ultra is way better than any device that I've used recently. It is just night and day on this phone. I can hear people crystal clear, I can hear them loudly, and I have no more conversations where I'm like, what, what was that, hello? Like, it just works. And as a phone, something that I use a lot, obviously, is the phone feature. So being able to hear people properly is definitely a bonus. And my reception, I'm in the basement. You can see I got four bars. My battery right now, we should just do a check. It is 1137. I'm at 66%. So again, remember that I didn't start the day with 100%. So I've dropped about 13%, 14%. For a couple of hours, that's not bad at all. I've been using my phone intermittently while I haven't been recording, and I've been using it to take a lot of photos and videos since I've been trying to do some vlogging on this device to include in this video. Also, man, I have to say that the S24 Ultra just has the nicest display that I've ever used on a phone. This thing is fantastic. It's tack sharp. It looks beautiful. I have a screen protector on it, so the anti-reflective coating is obviously not there, as you can tell. Um, but man, it is bright. There is no environment where this thing is unusable. But yeah, I mean, oh, I also just got a uh, response from a Facebook buyer. I try not to be like too much of a hard ass with my stuff when I sell things because I, I understand that people aren't on here to pay like full price or near full price. So I do try to be pretty lenient. I had it listed for 150. He offered me 100. So I said I can do 120. He said he can do it. And there you go. Just like that, a sale. 
Also, I've been using this app called Notion. I'm sure you've probably heard about it. This is how I've been getting organized with my stuff. So I have some of my video ideas in there. Uh, and then, you know, I have information about things that I'm currently in the process of reviewing, like the Quest 3. So I have some jot notes here that I've put down. So when I do end up writing the script, I can easily go back to what I like and what I don't like uh, based off of my, my first impressions and stuff like that. So that's definitely something that's really helped me a lot. Wait, why are you scared? <laughs> why are you smiling? <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> it's 1 13 p.m. I still have 58 percent started the day off at like 80. Um, we're heading to Starbucks Plus now. I'm not even dry. We added another thing to the list because Ellie is running out of her bandages so we have to go pick some of those up and, like, a treat. and a treat apparently and also we have to get Starbucks now. So there's three things that we need to do. You're really like t you're maximizing this and and really getting yourself in there. <laughs> Hi, good. How are you? Could I get a grande passion tango tea lemonade and a grande dragon drink? And a grande dragon drink? Yeah, both with less ice. Okay. And that's everything. Secured <laughs> juice. We secured After the juice. After it's spilt all in his car. I want to ask you, you're using an iPhone 15. Yeah. Would you ever consider no. using... No. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm so in deep to the Apple, like, what is it called? The ecosystem? Yeah, because because I have a MacBook, AirPods, an Apple Watch, an iPhone. Like, I'm so in deep. Okay. And it's all that I've known. Like, I used to have a BlackBerry, like, when I was, like, super young. Yeah. And then I just went to iPhone. Like, it would be, like... So you've been using an iPhone this whole time? Yeah. So you've never since, tried... Since I was, like... 12. I've been using an iPhone. So it's currently 202. Um, I'm at 58% battery. Uh, I've been using it a lot for like Facebook Messenger. Um, I watched a couple of videos and obviously everything today, but I want to check off this because we went to the store for Ellie. So now all I have to do is respond to some emails uh, because I've been ignoring a couple of companies, not on purpose, but and then I have to call Rogers, which is something that I've been putting off for a really long time. Okay, so I guess I might as well do the biggest thing on my list and that's Carl Rogers because I really don't want to do this at all. If I get it done with, I'll be happy about it. Okay, so I just did a couple of things. Uh, I, I got the Rogers thing off the list. I waited for forever on hold. Um, there's that. I also did check email. So technically my tasks for today are done. Look at the ducks. Look at the ducks in the water. Bro, they're just, those ones are fighting. <laughs> oh my God. Where are all the seagulls? On the railing. Oh my God, I didn't even <laughs> see them. Okay, so I probably look really stupid right now because I've never like vlogged in public before, but we're out at like the pier. This is in Whippy. So there's like, I mean, you used to be able to get to it, but there was like a lighthouse right here. Um, and then just like all water. I want to get like a cool thumbnail, but I also wanted to show off the S24 Ultra's five times and 10 times telephoto lens. With the S24 Ultra, they did remove the actual, like the physical 10 times lens. So it is digital. But I still think it looks pretty good and I wanted to demonstrate what it actually looks like. So I'm going to take a five times shot of the uh, lighthouse and then I'm going to take it ten times. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty like sunny outside right now. I guess this is like a good way to demonstrate how bright this screen actually is. I'm able to see it perfectly fine. Um, it's actually pretty bright. Uh, and unfortunately, like I said, I do have a screen protector on so the anti-glare isn't really helping here. Um, but it would do wonders. 
So I don't exactly know what happened with the microphone here because the audio cut out and I lost a couple of clips, but basically I took some photos to demonstrate the five times and 10 times digital on the S24 Ultra. And I think the photos look pretty good. Let me know what you think about them in the comments down below. But anyways, the audio kind of got messed up and I basically said we were gonna head right back and I was gonna cook some dinner. Sophia, do you wanna get cooked for dinner? I had to step away from the kitchen for a moment, but I thought I would give you a battery update. It is 5.55 p.m. and I'm at 33%. So I've been using the phone quite a bit the last couple of hours. I haven't really recorded too much, um, but I've been responding to a lot of Facebook Marketplace. Um, I've been watching some YouTube, just chilling out, you know, like checking emails and whatnot. Everything on the to-do list is done for, so I'm really excited about that. Now I can kind of just relax. I did eat lunch too, which I didn't show you because we just spent some time together. It's good to get into like that routine again. Manja. I know like uh, this isn't the smartest thing to do in the world, but I'm not a self-help guru. I'm a tech YouTuber, okay? I'm gonna go get another coffee. <laughs> Technically, no, I only had two. I had the ice cap in the morning along with like a sip of a really shitty coffee. Still spending money on it. Still not like the best thing in the world, I guess, but I want one. I didn't sleep good at all last night and I woke up really early this morning. Um, so it's a little bit of like a routine change, but hey, I'm gonna get a coffee because I could go to sleep right now. Um, I'm gonna get some coffee, stay up for like a couple more hours and then head to bed because I feel like it's a, it's a sleep flex. It's actually, it's pretty dark here, but I wanted to look at my screen time for today uh, because I was very curious as to what we're actually doing here. So, so the usage time is 66% and the screen on time is three hours and 20 minutes. So at the beginning of the day, when I like pretended to wake up for the video is when I charged the phone up to 80% because I forgot to charge it last night. So I started the day with 80%. I used 66%. That doesn't really make any sense. Well, either way, I started the day with 80%, screen on time, three hours and 20 minutes. So three hours and 20 minutes of screen on time, that is with pretty heavy use. Most of that is on the camera, 35 minutes on Instagram, seven minutes of photos, 26 minutes of Twitter. My usage kind of varied across a lot of applications, but a lot of that was in the camera and that makes a lot of sense as to why the battery is drained quite a bit. It's definitely way better than the iPhone. If I would have done this with the 15 Pro Max, I probably would have already been dead by now. And I most likely would have been dead with the Pixel 8 Pro a while ago. It's weird to see like the numbers put like that, where it's only three hours of screen on time, but I did listen to some music um, through Bluetooth. It's been paired to my Pixel Watch this whole time. So there's a lot that's been going on under the hood as well. And of course, like Facebook services just use so much uh, battery on Android. I don't know what it is. I think I'm gonna head home, enjoy my coffee, and then I'll update you guys on when those things have been sold. We'll do a tally at the end of the day what I've actually sold so far. And then I think we'll call it there. Um, not really much else going into the nighttime. If you've been enjoying this so far, if you wanna see more of these kinds of videos, let me know in the comments down below. They aren't like hard to make, but they do definitely take like a whole day. Like this is, you know, normally I sit down and record for like an hour and then spend some time editing, but this one is gonna be a tough edit. I can already tell. It's well over like an hour and a half in footage so far. So I'm gonna to have to cut that down a bit, but it'll be fun. Unfortunately, a couple of people flopped. No big deal. Um, I'm not really worried about selling these things. Like I know I'll end up just getting the money for it anyway. And it's all about patience. But one person came through last minute and bought the Viltrox lens. Uh, that was a really cheap lens. I don't even know why I bought it in the first place because it wasn't very good. Uh, <laughs> but that's done. At least one item is gone. So it's looking up. I'm just gonna do some organizing quick, but firstly, I do wanna check the weather for tomorrow to uh, to see how it's gonna be, um, so I can plan my day around that. So Wednesday, it looks like it's gonna be 
7 degrees with some rain, 77% chance of rain, but a low of only 3 degrees. Uh, today we had a low of negative 2. Felt way colder than that, but I'll take 7 degrees in rain over, uh, over anything in the negatives. That's perfectly fine with me. Oh my god, Friday is going to be negative 13. Are you kidding me? I also wanted to set a couple of alarms so that I can wake up at a decent time tomorrow so I could plan my day around that. Uh, I was thinking probably 7.30 a.m., um, I want to start this whole getting up early thing. Uh, I used to get into the routine. I'm probably just going to do that every day of the week this week. So you can put on a Spotify song as an alarm. No shot. Okay. Apparently my, we driving in 2024 playlist is going to be my wake up alarm. That is actually sick. I didn't know you can do that. Change the vibration so that I can actually feel it. You can change the alarm background. Bro. What? Let's put the ducks. Damn, One UI is crazy. What in the world? I didn't know you could do any of that stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be heading to bed. It is, so it's 9.52 PM. I'm going to go into settings and we're going to take a look at the battery. So battery activity, we've used the screen for three hours and 55 minutes. 40 minutes of that was on camera. Well, camera on screen. 36 minutes was on Messenger from messaging everyone about the things that I'm selling. 35 minutes on Instagram, that's probably just downtime when I was watching Reels or something. 30 minutes on X, follow me by the way, at Valley's Mine. And yeah, just a bunch of other things like filler, definitely looks like there's a lot of like services here. Um, four hours of screen on time, we have 19%, so technically we have 40% because we started with 80. I wouldn't say that's too bad, especially for a pretty heavy day. Like the screen on time wasn't heavy, like I said before, but we did use the camera a lot. One thing that I did notice is that the phone didn't get hot at all. There was no issues with the thermals and uh, just in general, the performance of this thing throughout the day has been impeccable. Why the hell did I just say impeccable? The performance has been pretty good. There's been no problems, no complaints, nothing at all. It's just been a very solid experience and I've enjoyed using it. This right now, without a doubt, is my favorite phone that I've used. I wish it had a little more fun things like the Pixel. Like I like the haptics on the Pixel and stuff like that. But I think that this is like the culmination of everything that I like in a smartphone. I'm, I'm, happy, to, uh, I'm happy to own this thing. I'm definitely way happier with this than I was with the iPhone and it's night and day. Like I use a MacBook still as like my, my laptop, but if I want to use messages on the phone, I just go to messages on Google's website, like Google Messenger. It works fine. I have no problems with like the ecosystem. I use a Windows PC I built and uh, yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and slap this thing on the charger so I actually have juice in the morning, but that's how it goes. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you wanna see more of this, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoy this one. I hope I can make it at least fun to watch and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.